last year I um, I didn't have my own shop so that's why at the top of this video there's a there's a picture of the Marlboro man he was looking over the the, the shop I, I was using uh, for for the year when I didn't have my own shop it, it's in Treptow there's this uh, there's this part of town which is like old industry there's there's a Philip Morris factory and there's a Jacobs factory at the other end of the street and they're both painted this um, incredibly ugly shade of brown and on the Philip Morris on the roof of the Philip Morris factory there's the Marlboro Man um, looking out over a bygone era um, yeah so so for for a whole calendar year I was without my my own shop and and I was renting space in a carpentry which didn't have a CNC so so I was able to do some projects um, which which I normally would just wouldn't have time for um, and I didn't earn very much money because uh, <laughs> because working on the CNC is how I earn money um, the the other thing that happened was I uploaded some shorts some YouTube shorts and they got a whole bunch of whole bunch of views and, and people have been commenting on these on these shorts and, and and basically for the most part very very positive but some some people have been um, commenting negatively about the fact that I'm using a CNC router to, to do joinery or just generally for woodworking and 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 some people seem to think that um, woodworking should only be done with I don't know axes and saws. I'm, I'm not. I'm not exactly sure what these people think. And to be quite honest, like s s certain people are always very, very negative, and I just delete these comments. That's. I, I don't want to engage in that conversation. But I do think that the um, that the discussion of of the difference between CNC um, routing and traditional woodworking. I do think that that discussion does have some merit. And um, and so I thought, while while um, this video runs, I can I can discuss that because because explaining what you're seeing in the video is can be quite tedious. I find like the video explains itself for the most part. So what is the difference between traditional woodworking and and CNC routing? I think um, I think ultimately the difference is is in in the interface. The um, a CNC router, obviously, um, it's computer numerically controlled. It's in the name, and um, and with traditional woodworking, which is I have to say, it's uh, traditional woodworking is is more enjoyable for me, and I think for most people, this is true. Not for everyone, but for most people, traditional woodworking is more enjoyable simply because. Um, if you're using hand tools like, say, a, a hand plane or, or these kind of things, um, uh, using, using these tools the right way, um, these tools are almost like an extension of, the, uh, an extension of your body and, you, and you're, you're using your whole body to plane a board. And, um, and this is, a, this is an, an experience which is... Um, ultimately very very enjoyable it can be it can be frustrating um, especially if you're if you're learning how to do it if you're not if you're not highly skilled I'm not highly skilled um, not in the least bit but I have experience I have enough enough experience and I know there's there is very little that comes close to being as enjoyable as planing a piece of wood with a hand plane with a good sharp Stanley plane this is this is really fun you know the smell of the wood being cut the putting putting your back into the work getting the getting the board really smooth with this with this beautiful tool which feels great in the hand you know CNC woodworking uh, CNC routing on the other hand um, is a completely different process with a with a CNC router you have um, you have the one computer program with which you take a drawing which you've gotten from the customer or you or you make your own drawing with, 
with a CAD program or, or with the router program. I, I, I use vCarve for basically all of this, and, and vCarve is excellent. Um, it's very simple to use, very easy to learn. But still, it's a computer program, and, and, and using a computer inter interface is, is hardly an intuitive pro process, you know. So, okay, that's, that's the first step, right? You've, you've got this computer program you have, to, you have to learn how to use. Once you've learned how, learned how to use it, um, then you can, then you can um, create G-code with this computer program. Then you can save the G code, and then you can run G code, the G code on, a, on another program, which will actually run the run the CNC router. O ideally, also on a different computer, which is which is offline and just dedicated to running the router. Yeah, and and so yeah yeah two two programs, two computers. Idea in an ideal setup, you don't have to. You can use one computer too, but that's not advisable. Um, and you've got to learn all of that, and then and and that's just that's just the start. Then then you have the different routers and and how, you know, the feeds and speeds of these routers and 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 all of that. And and you have to attach the wood, you have to attach the material, to the to the router table, in in a way that it's not going to move when it's being cut. You have to take care of the the dust extraction, and on and on and on, and and this is all kind of to begin with for sure it's all kind of ab abstract it's it's you're you're interfacing with a computer in order to um in order to do this to to, to make this work um and then hopefully at the end you have these wooden parts which are which have been cut out by the router and if it, and if it's all gone well then they've been cut out cut out well and then you can use them for for your project yeah that's ultimately the difference. I th I think um, I've, I've I've thought a lot about computer interfaces since since reading this this interview that was done with um, with Jared Lanier. He he was talking about he wasn't talking about woodworking tools. He was talking about musical instruments. That's what he's that's one of his you know passions I guess and and but also computers and and he was just saying that you know musical interfaces have uh, musical instruments have um, have this very intuitive these are very intuitive interfaces if you will you know they're 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 much easier to to understand like it's it's really you know over over all the centuries, composers have used um, um, piano keyboards to compose the most beautiful music in the world, and um, you know computers have been used have have been used for composing music, but ultimately, even if you're using a computer for music, hopefully you're going to be using a keyboard because it's just the interface is much is much much more intuitive than a computer interface. Yeah, and and. Um, and that's th that, that's an interesting thing. I think I think computers are ultimate, have ultimately been designed um, um, for for making and, and manipulating spreadsheets. Yeah. So if that's your thing, if you like spreadsheets, then then computers are the right thing. But it's a very very different um, interface than woodworking. Uh, may maybe that's obvious, but I think that I guess. I guess for me that's 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 the big takeaway. I um, I use CNC routers. Uh, I use a CNC router almost every day, um, and I've gotten to a point where I um, I'm fairly proficient at, at using it, and, and I um, it's it's easy for me to use, obviously, because I have a lot of experience. But I think for 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 people who are um, considering using a CNC router, which I assume a lot of people, if if they're watching videos on YouTube, sometimes they're they're asking themselves, you know, um, I'm into woodworking. Should I invest in a CNC router? Is this worth it? Um, you know, these kind of questions. And and I guess um, um, you know the the 
the price point has come down so much that um, for for almost you could say almost for the majority of people, um, you know, CNC routers have become um, affordable. I mean, if you're if you're looking to invest in in really really good woodworking equi equipment, here, that's expensive anyways. Um, but you know, sing single CNC router machines used to cost as much as a house, and then the and then the price came down to as much as a car, and now. You know the the hobby machines are are less than a less than a new iPhone. You know, so that's that's incredibly affordable. And I guess for me the question is, um, if you're if you're into woodworking as a hobby, um, the question should be, what is it you want to do, and 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 how do you want to do it? If, if you like the whole, if you really enjoy the whole process of traditional woodworking, then um, then maybe that's maybe a CNC router is just going to sit in the corner and collect dust. Um, but but if you're if you're doing woodworking um, and you and you're looking at trying to earn money with woodworking, then um, then maybe a CNC router is a, a, a very good investment because there are certain tasks which are much, much, much uh, easier to, uh, that can be done with a CNC router as as opposed to you know with with uh, traditional woodworking.